Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to use operators in the C-sharp language for game development in Unity. Um, there are basically four categories of operators um, that can be used to perform different operations on data. And those four categories are arithmetic operators, assignment operators, equality operators, and logical operators. And in the previous tutorial we already used one assignment operator and that was the equals sign and that was used to assign values to variables so you have a variable on the left or a variable name and then an equal sign and on the right side of that you have the value that's being assigned to the variable that's the equals sign operator um, and that's that's an assignment operator so firstly we'll look at some arithmetic operators so we'll create a variable uh, we'll make it a public variable and we'll just have this inside the uh, so I've already got a um, script open here it's called my script if I just go to unity I've got my my script right there in my scripts folder and I've attached it to the main camera so you can see here in the inspector it's attached there to the camera in this scene but just go back to mono develop this is a script this is the class here and then we've got this start and update method. So we're just putting this variable in the class and then we're going to use it in um, these methods. So um, first we'll create a, an integer variable. So we have public int and we'll just call it my number and we'll set that to initial value of five there at the same time as declaring. Okay, so we've got a new variable here, public int my number equals five. It's an integer with a value of five. Okay. Now, um, what we can do now is um, go to the um, go to the start method, and what we could say is something like um, my number equals my number plus five. Okay, and that with a semicolon, and then we'll have a print message, and we'll print out the value of that variable to the console in Unity. So we can just have a little print statement here and inside that print statement, rather than specifying a message, we can actually just put the variable name in there and it will display the value of that variable. Okay, so that's it. We've declared a variable called my number. It's an integer variable. Um, we've given it a, a value of five and then the start method, when this game runs, it will grab that variable and it will grab its value of five and add five to it, which should become 10. And it will print that value of 10 to the console. So we'll just save that. We'll go back to Unity and we'll run this game. Now it's updated. Okay, now in the console, we have the value of 10 down there. Um, so it's printed out the value of 10. Um, and just see down here, when I've just stopped the game and it's got the script attached down here and it's got my number, the variable there, with the value of five. When I click play, that value changes to 10. And when I stop it, it resets back to five. So it's just keeping the value of 10 while the game is running. Okay, and then it goes back to whatever it was to begin with. Okay, so in MonoDevelop, that basically we've just used the assignment operator, the equal sign. Um, but We've also used an arithmetic operator, the most basic one, which is the addition operator, so the plus sign. We could do the same thing with um, minus, so we could have five minus two. All right, we can run that, save it and run. Okay, just wait for the to update, there we go. All right, now the value has become three, and that's also down there in the console. So we can stop the game, go back to mono develop, so we've got plus operator, we've got the minus or subtraction operator. We can also use an asterisk or a star for multiply, a um, division sign, or sorry, a forward slash character for division. So we could set the initial number to maybe 10 and then have it divide by two. So save it, go back to Unity, just wait for it to update. Um, hold on, we'll play that. Okay, there we go. So we've got, oh, we'll just check that. It's actually updated. We've got uh, the integer var variable here, which is set to 10. 
And we've got my number equals my number divided by two, which should be five. Let's make sure that's actually saved. Uh, we might just reset that. Oops. There we go. Okay, so if you find that you change the code in MonoDevelop and it doesn't update in here, just remember that Unity always overrides the values in your code. So what you might need to do, if you want to reset it back to exactly what it, you've written in the code, then just click on the little settings cog there and click on reset and it'll reset that script back to what you put in MonoDevelop. Okay, so now I've got 10 and it's going to divide it by two and then print that out. So we've got 10, play it, and then the value becomes five in the console. Okay, so that's division. Now what we can do is we could have a number like, um, hmm, let's say, um, I could have a number like seven, and then we can divide that um, by three. Okay, so seven divided by three. Save it, go back to Unity, um, I just need to reset that. There we go. Okay, now what we can do is we can run that. Okay, so we've done 7 divided by 3 and we get an answer of 2. However, the problem here is that that's not exactly the right answer. So, yes, there are two lots of 3 in 7, but what if we want to have the remainder? So, Two things we can do here. We can go and change this to a float. All right. Okay, we can save it. And we can go back to Unity and just reset that. Okay, now if we play it, the answer becomes 2.3333 and so on. So we've just changed that from an uh, integer to a float so that rather than getting a whole number answer, we can actually get a number with decimal, um, decimal place. So I might just change that back to an integer. And this time what I want to show is rather than getting the value return of the division seven divided by three, rather than getting an answer back of two, what we can do is use the percentage sign. And this is called the modulus operator. So what it will do is it will calculate seven divided by three and rather than returning the um, result, it will return the remainder of the div division. So let's go to Unity. Um, let's just reset that, seeing we change the float back to an integer. Now we've got seven divided by three, and when we run that, we get a value of one. So it's basically doing seven divided by three is two. So there's two lots of three in seven which makes six, and then there's a remainder of one. So we get one there as the value. Okay, that's using the modulus operator. So um, we can also use brackets for more complex math operations. So for example, we could have something like my number equals my number um, plus 10 multiplied by, and then in brackets again, six divided by three, um, and then divide that by two. Okay, so basically the assignment operators follow standard mathematic order of operations. So that means that the math works from left to right. Um, okay, so parentheses are done first, multiplication and division come second, and then division and subtraction come third. So those are some standard arithmetic operators. And now we'll look at some assignment operators. So um, one thing that we did was we had my number equals something like my number plus five. So we'll just change that. I might change this number to five. And now we're going to have my number equals my number plus five. Instead of writing all of that there in that line, we can actually shorten it. So we could have something like my number plus equals five. And what that basically translates to is my number equals my number plus five. So 
It's just a shorter way of writing it. So now we can save the code, go back to Unity. Okay, now um, we'll just reset that script. Okay, you don't always have to reset the script when you go between Mono Develop and Unity, but if you do change the initial values of variables, then you'll likely have to do that. Okay, so I've got the value of five there for my number, and now it's become 10. So in the console, it's printed that out, that value of 10. So what it's actually done is my number, which is five, it's added five to that, just by saying my number plus equals five. We could do minus equals as well. Um, we could do multiply equals, and we can also do divide equals. So those are shorter ways, um, shorter shortcuts for um, some basic arithmetic operations. Another thing we can do, so for example, what if we just wanted to add one to the value of five? Well, rather than doing my number plus equals one, we could do my number plus plus, and that will add one, so increment by one, it will just add one to the initial value of five. So we can go back to Unity, we can play it once it's updated, and now the value should become six. There we go. So it's printed six to the console. Um, now, what if we actually take this, all of this here from the start method and put it in the update method instead and then save it and go into Unity. If we play it, what will actually happen is you can see in the console down here, over here, and also if we go to this console layout here, we can see these this value increasing. So what it's actually doing, every single frame, it's updating the variable my number by one. And there can be up to 60 frames per second. So it's you know increasing that variable by quite a lot. So if we just um, stop that, oops, not pause, we want to stop it. We can have a look at the console. It started as a value of five and then it added one and it printed it out. So we've got six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. Okay, and we've got up to 773 before stopping it. So plus plus is a little shortcut to um, increment by one. Okay, and then we've also got um, minus minus as well, which will decrease the value by one. Um, okay, so now what we can do is have a look at equality operators. And equality operators are basically used to compare two values. So the result of using an equality operator can either be true or false. And the only type of variable that can store that kind of result of an equality operator is a Boolean. So, um, so basically the equality operators are equals to, greater than, less than, uh, there's greater than or equal to, and there's less than or equal to. And there's also not equal. So they can be used to compare two different values. And we'll be using those in if statements, um, which will be in the next tutorial. And then there's also the last type of operator is logical operators. And those are and, or, and not. So they can be used for complex conditions. We won't worry about looking at that now. We'll look at that in a future tu tutorial. And we'll look at the equality operators in the next tutorial on conditional statements. Thanks for watching.